It was the play of the weekend, and it wasn't even an official play. Matt Costello, after having an incredible game, not only was fired up and pumped and full of energy leaving the court, but oh, yeah, his buddy, Tom Izzo, gets picked up and bear-hugged and danced with and smacked around and... Why not bring Matt Costello on right now to talk to us about it? Matt, the end of the game bear hug. Why? <laughs> um, there was just a lot of emotion in, in that moment. We, we had those, we had that three game losing streak, and so we were kind of down, down on ourselves. And so finally realizing that we were going to win, I was just pumped up and felt like I had to share some of that emotion with Coach Ace. Had you done anything like that before? Um, I mean, I roughed him up, pushed him, punched him, like, in excitement, but not really picked him up. That was kind of a new level for me. Um, and it was, it was a little awkward uh, looking back on it now, but um, it was definitely worth it. It was a lot of fun. Wait, wait, you roughed him up before? Yeah, just like uh, after a big play or something, like, you, he gets physical sometimes. He's like, let's go. And so, like, I'll, I'll hit him back. And yeah. And just like, it's kind of like a football mentality where you like, smack each other's helmets and stuff. But basketball we can't really do that um, all the time so uh, we just try to show excitement other ways so give me an idea of the reaction that you got from either teammates or fans or friends or whatever afterwards <laughs> um everybody the the general reaction was uh, just make sure you don't drop him and hurt him <laughs> and, older and stuff like that and i was like i tried not to um, but they, they were just happy, uh, happy for us and how we played that game, and um, it, it was just a lot of fun. I mean, my favorite was the head slap at the end. That was just priceless. <laughs> yeah, the, I'm not quite sure why I did that one, um, <laughs> but it just felt like it needed to be done, and um, it was... It, it was fun. It, I, I can't say enough about it. It was a lot of fun. What was his reaction afterwards? You know, he... Um, I did his radio show the other day, and he was actually okay with it. I was surprised. I thought he'd be a little mad about the head slap because <laughs> I did hit him kind of hard. But um, he was like, I was just as pumped as you were, and um, I just felt the emotion. And it, it, was, it was an enjoyable time. Any chance we'll see it again? When we win the national championship, I'll pick everybody up and spin them around, so oh. he'll, he'll be included. Oh. But uh, hopefully not till then. Matt. I am so 100% holding you to that. You, you are on video saying that, and I have it, and we'll save that for early April, okay? Okay, that sounds good to me. How big in general, not just, I mean, I'm having fun with the moment, but that game, that win, the ending of the losing streak, how big was that win for your team? It was huge. Um, it just kind of righted the ship for us because we had been struggling so much and everybody was kind of down on their luck and the atmosphere around the program um, was disheartening because we were all like, man, we shouldn't be losing like this. So to get that win, it just felt so good um, and, and everybody's kind of back on that horse and um, we're ready to keep going. What had been missing from your team in the three previous games? I think the biggest thing that was missing was um, the Michigan State type of defense that Coach is has preached over the last 20 years that he's been here. We were, we were very concerned about our own man scoring because guys had hit a lot of threes on us um, and driven gaps. So um, we, we were hugged up on our own man, and that just opened the gaps even more, got us in a lot of foul trouble, uh, gave guys open shots. And so um, we went to that game, and we just said, all right, we're going to sit in the gaps. We don't care if our man scores. Uh, this is about a team doing well. And... I felt like that, that really helped us. So you guys went into that game knowing you're going to try to do something differently? It wasn't just sort of, hey, the pieces sort of fell together? Correct. Um, and I think the biggest thing, the biggest reason why we did that was because we knew how well uh, Maryland penetrated with Mel Trimble, Sheet Suleiman, and Jake Lehman, how they were able to get in those gaps. So like, if we're going to give ourselves a chance to win, we need to help each other out and try to shut them down. Was it the best game of your career? Yeah, I mean, maybe not statistically, like I've had games with more points and more rebounds and more blocks, but just the overall game of the emotion and how much fun I had, I, I loved it. 
You mentioned to me earlier your goal uh, for the season, I believe, was 33 wins, 34 to become the winningest class ever. Is that still the goal? Uh, I, th I think it's I think it's 33. And, yeah, that's definitely still a goal, and it's still attainable. Um, again, we, we messed up a little bit there, dropping dropping uh, three games in a row. But we still have that goal in front of us, Stella and I. Um, and it, it's... It's not like it's outrageous. We can we can still accomplish that. It's going to be difficult, but we can accomplish it. Let me switch gears before we go here, Matt. How much blame do you personally take for the football team losing the playoff game? You were there. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm hurt after that one. I, I Josiah's my room. Josiah Price is my roommate. Uh, he's a tight end on the team, and so um, I was cheering him on, cheering the team on, and it was just it was a little. Uh, sad being there and losing the game like we did, but the whole experience was a lot of fun, and um, I, th I think our team's going to come back having kind of a taste of uh, of being that close to the national championship. That they're going to come back hungrier next year. We know how much you and your teammates support the football team. How much do you see Josiah or the football players supporting you guys at your games? Oh, it, it's the exact same thing. We probably have 15 to 20 football guys at our games every single game. And that's really a testament to Mark Hollis and what he's built here, of just the family atmosphere of Michigan State, whether it's the high-revenue sports or low-revenue sports. Um, our other roommate is Ryan Hagg. He's a 800 runner on the track team, and um, he's at as many events as he can get to, and we try to go and support him. It's, it's just the atmosphere at Michigan State of being a family and um, cheering for everybody. Matt Costello, congratulations on the big win against Maryland. Northwestern's up next, and again, I'm holding you to it. We'll get another Izzo bear hug and head slap if you win the national title. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, no problem with that. <laughs>